Go to Grace Lutheran <laughs> Church and School in Sandy, which is where we find meteorologist Devin Lucy in the middle of those cute waving kids. Hi, Devin. Hi, kids. <laughs> Hi there. We are joined today, you were just mentioned here at Grace Lutheran and Sandy. And we not only have one, but two, but three, but four classes here. Three classes here today. I was getting a little help from Miss Hubs outside of the action. We'll see you here in a little bit. Thank you so much for having us. This is my first year at Grace Lutheran. Thanks for having me here. Everybody's so quiet. Oh my goodness, that's fine. You can have a good time here at Weather School. But we've got our first, second, and third grade classes today. Yes. yes. Okay, great. It's okay, we'll get going. We're just getting started here today. We were able to talk a little bit about what I do, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit is what we did so far. Okay, great, we're getting the engines warmed up here and going. So it's an easier question to get the day kind of a started. But who can tell me, that's two easy questions right off the bat. Who is listening really close? Who can tell me, what do I do? What is my profession? What did I get a degree in? What's your name? Chloe. Chloe, what am I? A weatherman. A weatherman, too. But I got a degree in something so that we could study and talk about what we're studying today. Did you know what that is? Weather. Yes, weather. What's a more technical term? Do we know for that? What's your name? David. David. Do we know what degree did I get? What, what do I do? What are we doing today with the weather? It is? Um, a meteorologist. Yes, that's exactly right, David. So weather and meteorologist, just a little bit more technical, but notice the word we used was meteorologist. We know of other words like biologist, zoologist, that's one who studies animals. We didn't talk about that one. Paleontologist was another one we mentioned too. So who can tell me all of those share a commonality? These are scientists who do what? They do something in their respective fields. And I know Miss Ava over here talked about it. In fact, let me get the microphone to Miss Ava and she can answer that for me. Excuse me a little bit. I'm going to reach across the way here. And Miss Ava, okay, what's the common theme there about these scientists do what in their respective fields? They study um, the earth. They study, we could just stop right there. You're right. But a uh, geologist does study the earth. You're right. And the different layers within. So a biologist studies life. And so the share that we have in all those different terms in those scientists is there's those ones who study what they do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. So as a meteorologist, I study the atmosphere and I get the fun part where we get to then predict and talk about the weather and we get to do weather days like we do here at Grace Lutheran, right? It is, you know, it takes two big subjects to make it up. And I think coming up later, we're gonna talk about which two subjects we should probably study the most Yay. if we're gonna study weather. I like that. <laughs> David's enthusiastic today. What do you say we talk about your forecast? Are we ready for Easter yeah. coming up? It's a pretty important day for us coming up, isn't it? Yeah. Great. Yeah, we've got Easter Sunday. We've got Easter egg hunts. We've got candy. Of course, that's important. But I know in our Christian church, this is our most important day of the year coming up. And I know we're going to have a great day at church this Sunday with family and friends, yeah. especially here coming up. Okay, there was a look at temperatures that we have. Can you believe we are already into the 50s across the region? You know, you're on TV the entire time. So you don't have to watch me, but you can say hi to your parents and your friends at home right there. Awesome. Okay, so we've got our temperatures across the region. We are 50s. We've even got some 60s coming in. And what do we have out today that we didn't have to start the week with? Sunshine, that's right. We could just shout it out here because we've only got a couple of minutes to do our weather. So all that sun that's there has been a big bubble of high pressure and the sunshine that's there. And high pressure and sunshine really gets us what for the time of the year in spring? We feel so much warmer, <laughs> right? Is it warmer today than it was when it was raining on Tuesday? A lot more so. You're exactly right. So our high resolution pinpoint future cast forecast says, do you want more sun to come? And you've got it the rest of today and coming in towards tomorrow as well. Now comes Saturday evening, though, as we've stopped our future cast by Saturday evening is going to come and return the first chance of rain. <laughs> After we get the sun to come in. I switched it up on you. It was weird. Man, it's snoring. I know, remember that one from back in the day. Isn't it true? It was there Monday and Tuesday for sure. Now, central and southern Utah, we've got plenty more sunshine to come as well. But even by the first part of the weekend going in, unfortunately, to Easter Sunday, we have our next chance of rain that's going to come. So I have a chance of rain in the forecast. The Easter egg hunt, well, you know what? I don't think it's going to rain all day. I don't think it's going to be one of those that washes you out. Like, if we would have tried to do an Easter egg hunt on Tuesday morning, do you think that would have been a good idea? No. Probably a terrible, terrible idea. And the Easter bunny would have been washed away 
and what we're doing out there. So Sunday morning, the thing is, maybe the hunt's more indoors. It's going to be cloudier. It's cooler. And for St. George, I only have a slight chance of a shower. But coming in here in Salt Lake City and Sandy, and we only have a slight chance of showers too. But you know how much rain we're expecting even if it does rain that day? How much? About that much. That's about a tenth of an inch. That's about two tenths of an inch. That's a little bit. It's not a whole ton. So, okay, first, second, third graders here from Grace Lutheran. We're going to talk a little bit more behind the scenes. We're going to talk about, like Mr. David mentioned, how we make that forecast, what we need to study. And we're going to answer some questions, too. In 25 more minutes, we will have more on that forecast and your Easter weekend in just another 25 minutes for now. Say hi. Say goodbye. <laughs>